okay, looking through the drone camera, and so you can actually know that it's working. Um, now we're going to do calibrating. Now there's a couple of calibrations we need to do. Uh, gimbal is what we've been working on, so that is a critical one we need to calibrate that. But whenever you've been in an accident of any kind, you need to do the, um, is it IMU? I, I, I forget the, the, the abbreviation, but we'll know it in a minute because I've got to go into it. Um, it and the compass. So them two are, are the two that you've got to do. Um, we'll do the IM, UIMC or something first. So just watch it. Turn everything on. Get everything connected. Get everything started up. Into your fly page, ready to fly. And then start off. Open up your application. Go to the bottom and go into advanced settings. Here you've got your sensors. And on there, we've got IMU. I was right. We've got the IMU and we've got the compass. The IMU is the first one we want to do. So, let's... On IMU. Excellent, excellent. Let's do it. Calibrate. Ready to start? Now, what you're doing is you're going to actually copy the picture on the screen of the position of your drum. So, just simply copy it. Placing it that way, it already is. Now placing it on its side. Like so. And now place it the other side. I'm waiting for it to accept it and stand it up. On its back side. Like so, and onto its top. Like so, and then we have it complete. Go back to the camera. So that now is the calibration complete for that. Now the next one we want to do, um, the compass we want to do outside because obviously you don't want anything metal around you um, inside buildings, you're not picking up good uh, magnetic field anyway, so you need to be outside for that. Calibrating a compass, simply go back into your app set, we're coming out, still in the IMU, you, you see now you click on the compass one. And again the same process, follow the on-screen procedure. So rotate 360 degrees. And it's done. Okay, it's gone back to normal. Right, that's all. The compass now calibrated. And now we'll go into doing the um, gimbal. Now, pressing on to the gimbal mode. Down at the bottom, we've got auto calibrate gimbal. That is the one I want to do because I want to fully set the gimbal. So press on that. Make sure everything is on a level surface. And it needs to be. There's a the spook level. It's not quite level. Be quite critical of this. You need to make sure everything is perfect. I'll just check on this first if that's too much. That's good. We'll put that one underneath the box. So, and that way, I want to get right. a bit more. Okay. That's got me perfect. So I've got spirit level that way, spirit level that way. So as it says, check the aircraft is on a level area. Nothing obstructing uh, the gimbal at all. In other words, make sure your clamps and everything are removed. Um, 
I then press OK to begin. Here we go. Now it's not a quick process, but if you watch, you'll see the gimbal is playing its game all the way through. Twenty one percent. As you can see, it's a, a slow process, but it's a thorough process. It's going through everything. And once it's complete, your gimbal will be set perfect. Now, there is minor adjustments you can make yourself at the end, should you decide to. But if everything is working properly, then you shouldn't need to. And in this case, as you've seen, I've replaced everything apart from the hardcore machine itself. The cables have all been replaced. The... Uh, absorption plates being replaced, the circuit boards being replaced. And that is gimbal calibration complete. So click OK and that is finished.